nice night for a fun time here. Okay. So, my son Hunter, he was over at our house. Um, he's in the guest house. You can see the causeway from here. So, I was about to go check on the um, group home. Left his guest house, and someone was waiting right at my driveway in a Trans Am. On the island? Yeah, on the okay. island. Didn't know who it was. And uh, so, screeched the tires and took off. Okay. And I'm like, well, I'm going over there anyway. Maybe if they go down the causeway, I'll call the game. You know. So I drove down, made the turn, saw the officer down here, but didn't see any car. Right? So I said, all right, well, obviously, you know, they didn't go. So I drove back by the club, and I drove around Broadwater Way and went to Arley Water and saw some lights down Arley Water. So I turned down Arley Water, and it's a thin street. So all of a sudden, this car comes flying by me. I pull off into the ditch, and the car flies by me. So I call the gatehouse. And I say, hey, Red Trans Am just ran me off the road here at Arley Water. You know, might be coming that way. Turned around, then I saw it was coming here. I called again. And I said, please have the officer stop the car. Okay. So, officer, she now stop the car. She just stopped for me. I didn't even ask her. Right. So I got out. So the officer stopped. I got out, walking up. I don't know who it is. Okay. And she said to the officer, Stood there. Right. I mean, I, I just stood there. And she goes, "It's Janice Bolton." Janice Bolton. So she lives right up down the road. Yeah. The horse farm? Yeah. 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 Right. Well, you know what you gotta do? You gotta get a piece of her, I guess, sir. Right. Just like she got on you the last time. Okay. And then we can charge her when she comes on the island. Right. Okay. Because she has no business to be on the island, right? Well, she's a member. She's a member, so she's but, allowed. but okay, technically, she's here? she's allowed here until 11:59. Uh -huh. At night, she can't be here there until the morning. Okay. But I mean, I'm just at my house, you know. I mean, it's like I understand. On. Well, you gotta get that peace order, and then we come and try. Remember what she did when she went got it on you? That's how it gives us a little bit more leeway with things to work with when she's down here harassing. Yeah. Okay. Because she can be here, we can't charge with anything. But if she violates that order, then they can throw a warrant out for her. Okay. Are they open? Are they, are they gonna... Twenty-four-seven. Whenever so you want. Even do I bring a mask? What do I need to do? The commissioners, I think you can call them and let them know what, what you want to do, okay. and they can tell you exactly whether to come there or they may be able to do it online. Okay. Because they're, you know, obviously. I know that's on. what I'm just worried. I mean, you guys are cool but to be here. So. There's always access if you need to get a peace order and stuff like that. That's 24/7 access. Okay. So, so I just call. A, is there a number I call? Could have picked a better night for this. And I'm gonna go talk to her too. Tell her to stay away from here. I'm not gonna tell her that you're gonna try to get an order and all that right. stuff. She doesn't need to know that. But. But she, she's got. Her. It looks. Like there were a couple other women in there. I mean, yeah, she had like three. It looked like teenagers with her. Yeah. So I don't know if she was picking people up. Maybe that's why she was here. Now, where did she start off at? Right your property where I went met you the last time? Um, no. So that's up on the hill. That's the group home. Okay. So at Skipper's, see the, all the lights on right there? Yeah. The TV kind of in the corner. Yeah. So she was waiting there. I came out of the guest house. You can see because it's all open. Uh -huh. She was waiting there, and I got to the driveway, and then she hit it. Okay. And and I'm like, and I, I'm I'm expecting okay they're gonna come down here and I'll call the gate and you know. Okay. And it's just bizarre to hear a car screech, especially yeah. on these ones. Like, what? I got gotcha. you. It's yeah. I was sitting here and as soon as I got dispatched, I pulled out and she was coming down and she just stopped to tell me. Do you know she was she go back home? She said she didn't say. I'll, I'll deal with her. But that's what you gotta do. Then we can deal with her long term. Okay. okay. All right. All right, well, I'll give me the number and I'll, I'll go back. You have all her info, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's look, look, the whole thing she did with you, right? Uh -huh. she, she got you to say that, and then, so then we, we, you know, my, she made up all this wild stuff, right? And I was allowed to be on the property. I wasn't allowed to be near the house, but it's yeah. a four-foot fence that's electrified. So we get to court, and she rescinds everything. Yeah. So that she, she gets to court. But because she'd gotten you to say I'd violated the peace order, uh -huh. that took another month and a half. And of course, the district attorney, I don't know if the district attorney talked to you or not, but the district attorney and the judge just like, this is, this is ridiculous. Well, I can't remember because it's been a little bit, but somebody called me. I think it was the state's attorney. Yeah, it was a, it was a woman. She's yeah. really. And they wanted to know, like, the circumstances of that road. And I was like, I don't, it's confusing right. because it's, 
it, there's a road there, but it's like a mutual for both you guys. And I tried to explain that to them, but I was like, but in the order it says you can't be on the road, so I can only actually walk. didn't. Actually, here's the part where uh -huh. she got you. Uh huh. And and I didn't call up, but she she got you because first of all, it says I cannot be in her in her house uh -huh. or around her house. Uh -huh. Okay. But it never said I couldn't be on the property. Okay. And because it had a fence there, so that's what I said. And, and when I went in, they said, well, yeah, you're allowed to be on the property because it's been an easement since 1928 and it's separated by a fence and electric wire. It's an electrified fence. So, so I'm allowed to be, there's no other way for me to get to my assisted living, mm -hmm. right? I'm allowed to be on the property. Well, see, I don't get the charges. I write it up as I'm told. I write it up based on what she saw and she had a video or whatever. And then I write up what the order says. Right, but the order didn't say property. The yeah, order I said just, household. Yeah, I got you. I'm not disagreeing with no, you. No, but you wrote up. You wrote a property. Well, I, I probably wrote up what I saw, but they. I don't do the charges. They decide whether what they read if there's enough for charges. Right. So right. and then would they send you a summons? Oh yeah. Oh no. It's funny because we were in court when she rescinded. Uh -huh. This is a crazy thing. So December 17th. So that happened on the 20th. Uh -huh. She sat in front of Judge Kathleen Vitale on the 18th, uh -huh. and the judge said, "Don't ever block the road again." To her and her brother and her brother-in-law and Charlie Nevis, don't ever block the road again. Don't invite anyone to block the road, and never talk to Mr. Lucy again. So a lifetime peace order. Uh -huh. And then she asked Janice, "Is there anything else you want to tell me on the 18th?" Right? Uh -huh. But supposedly I did these things to Janice on the 17th and the 15th. So Janice goes and gets the peace order on the 20th, uh -huh. right? And then she said on the um, 11th or 12th of December, both, right, that I violated her peace order uh -huh. by driving on the on the right of way, which I'm. The 1928 allowed to drive on, right? Which it didn't. So, so we're sitting in court on the December 17th, and she rescinds her peace order. And my lawyer says, "Oh, by the way, you have a charge against you." And I said, "For what?" On the 11th, you supposedly violated her peace order. Mm -hmm. And and the, she had, actually had to say in court, Peter O'Neill's attorney had to say in court that we'll call the state's attorney and get that too. But it takes a process yeah. because it's not her. It's you through the state's attorney. Yeah. I mean, through the, through the commissioner. So it was, yeah, it was a mess. Me, I can't remember the conversation I had, but I just said, look, I, I, I don't know. They have a long-term thing going on. And it, she, it sounds like she got it written in her favor, the peace order that she got. Oh, my God. You know? There was an info green light that froze her. Uh, I had an info green light that froze her on her property. And it's funny because I've never walked my dogs with my son, but she said... <laughs> I was walking my dogs with my son. I was walking four dogs with my wife, who she knows very well. She said, I chased her all over the I mean, It's crazy well, stuff. Well, I'm kind of annoyed know? because I told her when she calls on you, what she needs to do. And clearly, what she's doing tonight is not something that she should be doing. So she should know better. So I'm going to deal with her. But, you know, uh, I'll, I'll call. this gives us the opportunity to deal okay. with it a different way. So I gave so you the we'll phone see. number, okay. commissioner office, and the address, okay. which is Glen Burnie, Maryland. 7,500. I know you probably already yeah. know where it is. That was just my Unfortunately, <laughs> I know where it is. I'm going to go down and talk to her. All right. You, you have my number to call me if you yeah, need Yeah, I got all your info. We can, I can pull yeah. all up. If you need anything else, just let us know. Uh, all of you. Thank you. Thanks, uh, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but for the win. Yeah. Yeah.